Well, big announcement today. Got the frame back and I'm, oh, sorry, hold on. Hello? The shirts? You mean the 12 valve dually shirts? Oh yeah, there's a link uh, underneath the video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you just click on the link and then uh, you can go ahead and buy like a shirt and a hoodie and I think I have a coffee cup on there. I don't know, I just figured a coffee cup. What do you care? Mm hmm yeah, yeah. Sizes? Uh, you know, I think they come in most sizes. Just, you know, click on the link and have a look. Who is this anyways? All right, well, as you can see, we're off to a good start. Got my uh, dad joke and shameless plug out of the way. Uh, anyways, just uh, really pumped up about this one. I got the uh, frame back from the powder coater uh, a couple days ago. It looks great. I can't believe the transformation. And uh, as I said before, if I was ever doing something like this again, absolutely just bring the frame over and let them deal with it. Um, he told me it was a complete nightmare. It was the greasiest frame he has ever seen. Um, after it got back from Bead Blaster, uh, just due to all the nooks and crannies and all the grease and stuff, he told me he was cussing my name every step of the way. He said he baked it in the oven for six hours just trying to get rid of all the crud in the corners before he painted it and stuff. So big thanks to my buddy out at uh, Vicious Powder Coating out in Port Coquitlam. Um, but you know, he soldiered on through it, got it done, the thing looks great, and now I've got a proper foundation to start piecing this truck back together. So now that I'm uh, almost at the point where I can start putting the truck back together, uh, I still have a lot of things to do, of course. I still have to give the front axle the same treatment as I gave the rear axle. So as you can see, I'm really starting to make a lot of progress with all the random parts, sway bar, different mounts for the frame. Motor mounts, which I might be replacing parts of those, I'm not sure. Um, all different pieces that bolt on here. Everything was covered in about an eighth of an inch of crud, so cleaning it up was messy and time consuming. I would say all this stuff is kind of done phase one, where the worst of it is cleaned up. I've done some degreasing, but now uh, I'll need to scuff everything with 320 and uh, continue on um, with all the wax and grease remover that's going to take a while on some of this stuff and then uh, you know once it's ready I'll do the priming and painting and hopefully everything will match up well. All right the next uh, big thing that I need to do is get this shop ready to do some serious painting. I've got all the parts, tranny cross member, all that stuff uh, that's in the process of getting cleaned up but uh, this box and the cab um, you know they're going to need to be kind of brought out in the middle and sort of gone through painted on all sides and then uh, once I get that done then I can put the frame down put the cab on it uh, I'll probably leave the cab sitting at the back like I did uh, when I was taking it all apart and then I can start getting serious about drivetrain everything else once that's in put the cab in place and so on and so forth so anyways um, right now what I'm going to do is uh, tip this frame up and lean it against the wall over there all right, well, wish me luck. This might get interesting. I'm gonna try and uh, lift it up and uh, slide it over. I'm probably gonna have to re-rig this. I can't imagine it's gonna work the first try, but let's see what happens. We ain't stopping this train home. I ain't losing my faith. We ain't stopping this train home. I ain't losing my way. There will be more videos coming up. A lot of the stuff that's happening right now is happening off camera. I've got parts ordered for the transfer case, so uh, that will be happening pretty soon as well. Get that back together. Uh, I need to get the motor into the machine shop and get that board out 20 over and then get new pistons and rings ordered and stuff. 
Um, but you know, she's coming along and I'm really looking forward to uh, starting to put this thing back together. I'm, I've been uh, dying to get that frame cleaned up and now it's done. There it is. Looks great. So I can't wait to get that on stands and just start bolting things to it and continue to uh, get back to this thing being a truck that runs and drives because I will say that I do miss it. So anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day. See you on the next one.